done out here? Oh, we made a mistake. We thought this was... What are you fellas doing in that room? Well, we... <laughs> trying to break into Professor Davidson's room. Oh, a little second story work, eh? I'll lock him up in my office until the police can get here. Come on, you, get going. You bring up the other two. Thanks, Mr. Prescott, but I guess I can handle them now. I'm sorry about this, but I assure you it won't happen in my hotel again. If you need any help, I'm at your service. Thank you. Three of you couldn't handle one man and a dog. Before you get all worked up, you might just as well know he didn't catch us until we were leaving the professor's room. I apologize. Nice work, boys. That's what I want you to do. Get into hiding until we all leave town tomorrow. Prescott, I was going up to your room. This cablegram just came in for you. Oh, thank you. It just looks like I had a lot of trouble to find you. Hmm. Forward SS Royal Prince, forward Tradewinds Hotel Saipana. Thank you. Your father taken very ill. Take first plane to Saipana and contact me for further instructions. Uh, where can I find a Mr. Fenton in this town? Fenton. Fenton. Uh, yes, this message is signed Rusty Fenton. Oh, Rusty. Sure, everybody knows him. You go down toward the river. You will pass warehouse. Voice trail on your left. He'll take you right into his shack. I see. Thank you. <coughs> yeah? Are you Rusty Fenton? That's the handle. I'm Jeffrey Prescott. I received this cablegram of the hotel. Well, come in. <laughs> Say, I sent that cablegram to Millville. Right, but it reached me here in Saipana. Oh, you were on your way into surprise, Daddy. I came here with an expedition. I thought it would give me a chance to drop in on my father and surprise him, but uh, this message takes all the joy out of it. Yes, I know. Now, I have a native guide waiting to take you in, and I'd advise you get there as quickly as possible. Can we get through tonight? Well, it's moonlight. Why not? Fine. I've got some business to attend to the hotel first, and I'll see you later. All right. The guide will be waiting. But the six keys are no good to us until the professor finds the seventh. And then what? Well, as their guide, you'll be right there when that happens. It's going to be up to you to get hold of that and bring it back here to me. Who is it? Can I see you a minute, Mr. Smith? This is Prescott. What can I do for you? I'm checking out. Nothing wrong, I hope. Oh, no. Just received a message which makes it imperative for me to leave right away. Uh, please see that Professor Davidson gets this note as soon as he returns. Why, certainly. Thank you. Come on, boy. Good luck. Things happen fast, don't they? <laughs> For 
reasons which I cannot explain, I must resign from the expedition. I know this will cause you some inconvenience, but I have no choice. Good luck and success. Sincerely, G. Prescott. Well, this works out just perfect for us. It'll be all right, Dad. I've studied poisons and their cures at Melville, and I... There's no use. There's no cure for the I need poison. But, Dad, I can... Uh, don't talk, my son, but listen. There is so much to say and so little time to say it. You learned the tongues of the jungle people. I've studied them as you ordered, but I'm not too sure of any of them yet. That will come with practice. Now, there's another thing you must learn. The secrets of magic as practiced by the medicine men. Magic? Yes. There's nothing that so sways the native mind as a few simple tricks and illusions. Zuba will teach you. Come, give me a hand, my son. These are the treasures stored through the centuries by your ancestors. Why, there's a fortune here in jewels and gold. It's yours now to use against the enemy who is coming to our jungles for some mysterious reason. Now to the tomb of your ancestors. Stay here, devil. Here, my son. And you solemnly swear before the tombs of your ancestors that you will carry on with a vengeance against all piracy, greed, and cruelty. I swear it. This ring is a symbol of the phantom. Wear it. My son, you are now the ruler and protector of all the people in these jungles. That Tonga village. He ain't gonna show up. Get ready to announce his death to all the tribes, and then we'll have things our own way. Master, the natives very impatient for you to appear. I am ready, Suba. I tell you, he ain't gonna show. Come on, get going. Wait till Suba makes smoke. smoke come. Watch. Well, that can't be the real phantom. I know I killed him. This is just a trick to fool the natives. Oh, no. Him phantom. Him phantom. Man who never dies. Looks like him to me. Why, it can't be. He's a much younger and taller guy than the real Phantom. I'm telling you, that guy's a fake. It looks like you'll miss long. Let's tell the natives that guy's a phony. Yeah? And when they ask us how we know, we tell them you killed the real Phantom. Why, you'd have your head drying over a fire in no time. Let's get out of here.